In this video, I'm going to share with you the video equipment I plan on bringing with me on my 12-month trip around the world. Greetings from New York City YouTube. My name is Kevin. I make these weekly videos documenting my journey towards full-time travel. So if that type of content interests you, please subscribe below. So for those of you that don't know, in March I'm leaving on a 12 month journey around the world where I'm gonna stay in 12 countries for 30 days. I'm leaving my job as a corporate lawyer to do this. I plan on documenting this adventure on this YouTube channel. And I hope after that 12 months to continue to travel full time. So for those of you that haven't seen my packing video, I'm actually only going to be traveling with a small 30 liter backpack and a messenger bag that will have my camera equipment in it. So I've had to be really strategic about the equipment that I bring with me in order to make my travel videos. So I figured I'd share with you what I'm bringing and why I'm bringing that stuff. So let's first start off with the GoPro. So I'm sure everybody on here knows what a GoPro is. This is gonna be the camera I use for my action shots if I do any kind of hiking or jumping off a cliff into a water or anything that's rugged or maybe in a situation where I want to bring a smaller camera, I'll use the GoPro. I have the GoPro Hero 7 Black. It has really good stability, especially when you're making hyperlapse videos. The time warp function, which is one of the hyperlapse functions on this GoPro 7, are just amazing. It makes me look like I have much more skill than I actually have. I also have this mini tripod that I bought with this GoPro. So it serves a bunch of different functions for me. It obviously serves as a tripod because I can also take photos with this or I can set it down and go out and talk and do a vlog. In a second, I'll talk about mics. I have a specific mic for this GoPro just in case I do want to vlog with it. The camera's portable, the tripod's portable. It was kind of a must have for my bag. The next thing I have here is a little bendable tripod. A lot of people have those Jobies. I wanted something actually a little bit smaller because I have limited space and it pretty much acts like a Joby. It's bendable and does similar things that a Joby does and it's much more compact if I want to really make it small. So I also have this little like selfie stick holder. I have a Pixel 3 which actually has pretty good video and takes really good photos. And so I'll be using this with the tripod that my A6500 is sitting on right now. That's just a small Manfrotto tripod. So I have three tripods total that I'm bringing with me. So next is my drone. So I wanted something small and compact that I could get epic footage with. So I went with the DJI Mavic Pro Air. It's really small, it fits in my camera bag, and I'm hoping this really takes my travel videos to the next level. Next, I have a few different mics. I have a Rode Mic Video Pro that I'm using right now that's on my Sony a6500 that I'm using to film this video with. I also have a Rode lavalier or clip-on mic. I actually just got this, so I'm gonna start using this more. I've done a couple tests with it, and the audio quality is really good. And so I'm hoping this takes my audio to the next level. And next I have a little mic that I can use with my GoPro Hero 7 if I decide to vlog with it. Most people know that the GoPro mics usually aren't that great. The Hero 7, the mic's okay, but I went ahead and bought the mic extension and I can either hook this mic on right here or I can hook on that Rode lavalier mic that I showed you earlier. Or even the Rode Video Mic Pro that I have on my camera right now. I also have a 20 foot extension cable for my Rode lavalier mic, but I could use this for any of the mics I have actually. Next, let's talk about my Pixel 3. I first got this phone because I was switching to Google 5 and at the time, they didn't support iPhones. So I decided to go ahead and go with the Pixel 3 because I wanted the Google Fi service because it's very traveler friendly. I didn't realize how good the camera was until I got the phone. It shoots great stills, but it also shoots great video. Google doesn't really talk about the stabilization in this Pixel 3, but it is phenomenal. It rivals the GoPro Hero 7, in my opinion. 
I've also added the Moment case and the Moment wide angle lens. I added the Moment wide angle lens primarily to vlog with this Pixel 3. I took this Pixel 3 and Moment lens out on New Year's and it worked really well for me as a vlogging camera in the pouring down rain. I also got a Moment macro lens, but that's more for photography. Along with trying to build up my YouTube channel, I plan on trying to build up my Instagram following as well. So I'm sure I'll make use of both of those Moment lenses for still shots. And finally, the camera I'm shooting with right now is the Sony a6500. It's a great camera, it shoots 4K at 30, and I can shoot 1080p at 60 and 120. The lens attached to the camera right now is the Sony 16 to 70 millimeter Zeiss lens. That's the lens I'll use primarily in the day. It's a great lens. It's the one I'm using right now. I also have the Sigma 16 millimeter, and this is going to be my go-to night lens. I used this when I was in Paris, and I was just blown away with how great it shoots at night. So that's the equipment I'm gonna bring with me. I also have a MacBook Pro and use Final Cut Pro to edit my videos. I'm very new to making YouTube videos and especially to making travel videos. So I'm excited about improving my skills as I go. And I really appreciate any feedback you give me, whether it's positive or negative. If you've got any ideas for equipment that I might wanna bring along with me, please comment below and let me know. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. In the last month, I've grown from 100 subscribers to 340 subscribers, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. It's very humbling that people are actually watching my videos. So thanks for tagging along for this journey I'm taking towards full-time travel, and thanks for watching.